Casey Neistat is YouTube's best tech reviewer. This is gonna get thick in the comments. I'll tell you why, right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listening to, to Travis. What up players, welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name is Travis and I do tech videos every single week and I have a blast doing them. If that sounds fun to you, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below. But for now, Let's get into the video. So I was watching YouTube the other day, going through some of my favorite creators, and I watched Tech Tuesday on Casey Neistat's channel and realized pretty quickly that he's like the best tech reviewer on YouTube. And this pains me to say this, because obviously that's me, I think. I want it to be anyway, but I'll tell you why he's better. And as a matter of fact, I'll tell you why he's better than all the other tech reviewers, no matter how big they are. Let's talk about those other guys first. All those guys have incredible setups where you get to find out a lot more about tech. Um, let's take MKBHD, for example. His camera works amazing, and he has all these great angles for everything, and 8K cameras and all this other stuff. And he tells you about the product in depth, which is great if you really want to know more about the tech itself, how it works, and if it's right for you. That's, that's pretty good. But it's not exactly unusual. Like, there's a bunch of MKBHD wannabes all over YouTube. And they're all kind of doing the same thing. They're just following in his footsteps. Sure, he's the one that's the best at it, but so what? Now as a tech influencer, he's pretty big. And so is Unbox Therapy, and so is your average consumer and anyone else in that level. They're gonna influence tech as a whole, you know, kind of within itself. Basically, they're at the top of the mountain of tech, which is great, because it's huge. Everyone uses tech nowadays, but not everyone knows who they are. And this is why Casey is a ninja. And this is why, in a lot of ways, he's actually the biggest influencer out of all of them. The vast majority of Casey's videos are vlogs. I mean, it's about his life and what he does. And on Tuesdays, he sets aside a time and talks a little bit about a bit of tech. Now, of course, a bunch of manufacturers are clamoring for him to review the tech because he's got 10 million subscribers. But this is the important part. He's not a tech YouTuber. And that's why he's the best tech YouTuber. You see, for these other tech YouTubers, people are coming specifically to see what they have to say. They already know who they are. They're already in the tech space. But with Casey, you're getting the average consumer. And make no mistake about it, there are far more average consumers than there are tech people. And this is why Casey's influence is so large, because people who may not ordinarily buy pieces of tech will listen to what Casey has to say and then make purchasing decisions you can actually start a company based off of Casey's loving of your product. And I don't just mean people who love tech, I mean everyone, your next door neighbor, your sister, your grandmother, they all know who Casey is. And that's exactly the point. Manufacturers wanna become household names like Coke, Pepsi, Xerox, Kleenex, Poopery. If MKBHD says this is the phone to buy, then of course they're gonna sell a bunch of them. But if Casey Neistat says it, they're gonna sell into a completely different demographic they only have to win a little bit on the tech side, but when they win across everyone, your average consumer, it's a completely different ball game. Not only this, Casey actually gives you a very easy to understand review of things. He also goes in depth, but not too much. He doesn't try to drown you in tech knowledge. He doesn't try to drown you in a bunch of specs. He makes it very approachable. Like when he took up the two drones, the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro Zoom, Man, it was so simple to understand what you were getting because you got to see the video footage of both of them. He didn't waste a whole bunch of time going through the app with stuff that you might not care about. And really, you probably already know about that stuff. And people who don't know what drones are got to see them as well. And it was his video that actually made me want to research more about drones and eventually get one myself. Now, I don't think he's trying to be a very big influential tech YouTuber, but he's doing it by accident and he's winning. Because you know by the end of the video, no matter what it is, you're clicking that link to see how much that product was that he just played with. And what makes it so interesting is he actually comes off like an average consumer himself. So you don't feel like he's being bought off, which is another thing. He has plenty of money and doesn't need to have any sponsorships. Now, when it comes to sponsored content, I love the way Casey does it. Now, I've actually talked about being paid for reviews and things before. I did a video a while back right here and even got some comments by some very large YouTube channel creators that seem to agree with me. But what I really like is that he makes it obvious from the beginning that it's sponsored. He also doesn't give any kind of real personal feedback about the product like he did here with these skates. Amazing, like you got to see what they do and what how they work, but you don't feel like he's trying to get you to buy them. I like that. So being able to gain trust in this way, incredibly important to being an incredibly good tech YouTuber. 
And before you say that I'm hating on all the other tech YouTubers, that's not true at all. I just think the most influential person is the person who can get to the most amount of people. And while all the other tech YouTubers are servicing tech-minded people, Casey is servicing a much larger group of people. So Casey Neistat, I take my hat off to you. I don't have a hat, never wear a hat. If I had one, I'd take it off to you. But big up salute, because you've done it without even trying. You're the best tech YouTuber. Can I, can, can I work for you? If this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and share it to all your friends. And if it didn't, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. I'm here every single week having a blast. Hope to see you again real soon. Peace and love, peace and love.